Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside Cave Arena on the campus of Piedmont University. Piedmont University Athletics on YouTube. Chad Hall, Eric Edmondson, and Reed Barnes on the camera this evening for our final, final game <laughs> of the weekend. It's been a long ride for us, but we've been here through it all, so why not do one more to cap off the evening as we have been delivered our starters, Eric, for Birmingham Southern. Yeah, for Birmingham Southern, you're going to have number 13, Jay Gillespie, followed by number 14, Samuel Spence, number 42, Brody Davis, number 4, Caleb Green. Going to be interesting to watch him on the floor. Number 24, Dylan Patrick. That's your starting five for Southern Birmingham. And for your Piedmont Lions, it's pretty similar starting five than from what we've seen. Number one, Joe Hellenbrook. Number four, Noah Reardon. Number five, Ryan Jolly. Him and Caleb Green are the focal points of tonight's matchup. Number 30, Fisher Darden, who's been outstanding for the Lions, being the second leading scorer for the club. And number 31, Devin Dean, to round out the starting five for the home side. Eric, we got a good one on hand. This is a great way to end the night as we're starting to fill up here at Cave Arena. A lot of students starting to get back in town from Thanksgiving break. And man, am I excited for this one. Yeah, this is going to be uh, a one heck of a game. Today has really been one heck of a, uh, a day just for basketball. We've had some really good competitions. And tonight, it seems like the men's basketball team, the way the arena feels right now, it, it feels like it's going to topple all of that excitement it's just on its head. Yeah, and I think this place will start to fill up a little bit more as we get a, a few minutes into the game just because we still have people getting in from out of town. This is the first place they'll stop so man am I excited this is usually one of my favorite games of the year and we've seen it time and time again these two go head to head and it's always entertaining inside of cave arena just about underway here to end our night with the final game of the six game weekend we have been covering and it looks like we are going to be underway at 6.33 p.m. to start us off and Birmingham Southern comes away with it with Patrick. Patrick carries it over the timeline. Patented 2-1-2 defense for the Lions. Have Spence and Gillespie at the free throw line. Patrick out to Green through to Spence. Spence for three. Yes. Great way to start off the night with a three ball to open us up. And we'll have Ryan Jolly, the focal point of the Piedmont men's basketball team this season. Averaging 24.4 points. Dean kicks it out to Jolly. Jolly surveying the defense, attacks, gets into the lane, and he will be fouled. But it looks like it's going to be a reach on Caleb Green. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of sparks to fly between the two of Caleb Green and Ryan Jolly. They're two of the best scorers in the conference. Jolly has the edge on them in the per game side of things, but two electric players with two with two squads full of great supporting cast members. It's going to be one heck of a fight tonight. I agree, Eric and Devin Dean. Takes it out to Hellenbrook. Hellenbrook in the corner for three. No good. Rebound Fisher Darden. And the Lions keep it alive. Jolly steps into it. Yes! Right back at you. And we are all tied at three. Good hands by Reardon there. And the Lions will bring it back on the offensive end. Jolly, full head of steam, gets into the lane, hangs in the air. And it's just off the front iron. It's up to Spence. Spence thought about walking into it. Spence gets it back for three short. And it comes away with Gillespie. Gillespie chucks it up, but no good. Hellenbrook with an impressive rebound to come away with it. Hellenbrook's going to have a busy night down there on the boards. Yeah, Hellenbrook, the one uh, big stature swing for the Lions. The... Panthers on the other side, they got a big man themselves, but they also have a good height advantage. But the Lions definitely have the athletic edge. They're very athletic. And they move across the floor very fluidly. Yeah, and this is this is always a toe-to-toe -to -toe matchup. It all it goes for 40 minutes. It goes buzzer to buzzer and 
<laughs> Man. As we'll see, a foul called. I believe it was on Samuel Spence, his first, and Jolly went up, but he will be called in the act of shooting. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Pat Dylan Patrick will be nabbed with the foul call. Jolly will go to the line and shoot two. So two back-to-back -back fouls for the Panthers. We saw a lot of fouls in last game with women's basketball. Hopefully we don't see as much in this one. That way we can see these two squads just be very as aggressive as they need to with each other. Absolutely. But keep it clean. Yeah, yeah. No blood, no foul, right? <laughs> exactly. And Jolly's perfect from the line to start the night. Line showing off the press. Brody Davis, the deep man. Gillespie breaks the press, kicks out to the corner, and it'll be an air ball. Gillespie comes away with it, gets stripped by Hellenbrook. Hellenbrook finds Reardon. Reardon off and running. Carry it over to the timeline at the Cave Arena logo. He'll make his way. Pull up jumper for Reardon off the front of the rim and rebounded by Gillespie. In the corner with Spence. Green. Spence again. And Joe Hellenbrook will get called for a blocking foul. Mm. Hellenbrook has had to play very attached to that baseline uh, so far. Unfortunate that he just caught, got caught with his hand and cookie jar a little bit too much. And Caleb Green with the air ball. Jolly with a full head of steam. And it's interesting you say Hellenbrook's in charge of the baseline. That is one of his jobs in the zone as a pull-up jumper, 15-footer from Fisher Darden will go. Darden, nice little coming out party this year. In the corner with Spence, rattles around off the backboard and into the hands of Hellenbrook. Reardon over the timeline at the hash. We'll kick it over to Darden. Darden with tons of room, and it is no good. Green with the rebound over to Gillespie. Gillespie, one of those members on the team last year for the Panthers. Over to Gillespie again. Makes his way into the lane. Skip pass over to Spence. Hellenbrook in front of him. Spence makes his way into the lane. Gets taken away. Gillespie keeps it alive. Gets it back to Spence. Looks like some of the fans are saying that Gillespie was out of bounds, and of course, Gillespie will find his way to the line to shoot three. <laughs> it was certainly close. It looked like maybe his left foot might have dragged across the line while he was touching that ball, but yeah, unfortunate chain of events right there. Jay Gillespie, number 13, will shoot three from the line. Ah, uh, one heckler is back in the building tonight who screams, miss it, before every <laughs> single free throw attempt for the opposing team, of course. I wonder if they're a Piedmont fan. M maybe, you know, <laughs> they, 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 you kind of, you, you got to use your uh, deductive skills to get there. Well, by the looks of it now, Eric, I believe we can classify this as a good foul as he is I would say so, so far. yeah. And Jay Gillespie with his final attempt and the miss it call, and it's off the front of the rim. Look at that. Oh, it looks like it was a lane violation. He'll get a okay. he'll get a retry. So if he misses this one, it wasn't meant to be. Exactly. All right. I'm glad we can agree on something up here. I heard it. And he makes it. So. It worked. What is that, fourth time's a charm? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Interesting. Darden receives it off the inbound from Reardon. And Jolly will bring it across the timeline. Has Patrick in front of him. Motion offense coming. Reardon receives it on the far side wing. He'll get through, finds Darden. Darden goes baseline. Pull up jumper. My goodness, it's pure. Patrick coming downhill. Spence received it. Into the corner with Green. Double team comes, rotation. Patrick receives it. Skip pass over to Green. Green for three, yes. Very smooth from Green there. Jolly 
Plenty of time. Brings it over to the timeline for the Lions. He'll step right into it. And it is off the back of the rim and no good. Spence, Gillespie, puts the ball on the floor, gets in towards Dean. Floater is good. Haven't seen a lot of Dean early in this contest. Then again, the Lions are putting a lot more emphasis on shooting from around the perimeter. I think that's sort of come into the Lions' M.O. as there he goes. Devin Dean. Not su surprised not to see a foul there Ooh. as Hellenbrook tried to lay out and get the steal. Reardon brings it up. Over to Jolly. Back to Dean. Dean pulls up from mid-range off the front of the rim. Gillespie attacks the middle of the zone over to Patrick. Gillespie over to Green. Great defense from Reardon. Spence in the corner. Tries to get it down. Yeah. Threw a bullet right to Jolly. And Brody Davis is fouled. And we are finally to our under-16 media timeout. Eric, a little bit of a lull here. Yeah, uh, the shooting for both ends has been uh, obviously what is number one on the to-do list. Uh, the Lions have missed a couple more shots than the uh, than the Panthers have, but it, that will come. They, they, like I said, there's a lot more emphasis on shooting around the paint and not necessarily pressing up in there. You saw Devin Dean try to try to push his way in there. He got two man covered on him and just could not find his way into the basket. And and the Panthers are able to get the rebound. But I definitely see the Lions going out of this huddle and saying, okay, shooting's cool and all, but let's let's put more emphasis on whoever we're going to rotate. And I bet you're going to see JCJ, Jeremiah Carter-Johnson, go back into the five. I believe it. And what's interesting to see so far in this contest is it's only a two-point two point affair, 11-9 in favor of the Panthers. And... Jay Gillespie, leading scorer for the Panthers. And we only have two people involved in tonight's contest for the Lions, Ryan Jolly and Fisher Darden, which is fitting because they are both one and two in the scoring department for the Lions. Yeah, we talked about in the open about Jolly and on the other end, Caleb Green, but Fisher Darden has kind of been in the shadows. He's been waiting in the wings uh, for Ryan Jolly. He is averaging so well, and he's such a producer for this team that don't be surprised if he has a massive game as well. Patrick to inbound, tried to get it over towards a newly entered Panther. That'd be and Brandon Copeland. Copeland, yes. See Green, Davis, Gillespie, Patrick, and Copeland out there for the Panthers. Patrick and JCJ, like you mentioned. Jeremiah Carter Johnson. Gillespie for three off the front of the rim, rebounded by Darden. Over to the Jolly. Jolly handoff to Reardon. Tried to step through the lane. Offensive and blocking? I guess uh, mm. it's going to yep. be an offensive foul on Jeremiah Carter Johnson. Interesting. Panthers on offense again. Copeland tries to get into the lane. He gets tied up, and it's ripped away by Jolly. Reardon, Euros, and a floater to put it all away. Reardon kind of woke up in last game yesterday. We'll see if he can do the same here. And Patrick tried to get it. I believe it was to Copeland down in the corner, but to no avail. Griffin Neville steps in for the Lions. Reardon, Jolly, Neville, JCJ, and Hellenbrook all out there for Coach Neely. JCJ catches at the high elbow, handoff to Jolly. Jolly tries to get in. Jolly gets tied up, tries to step through. 
And they're gonna call it a double dribble on Jolly. Burrito. Yeah. <laughs> Steps in. Garrido weaving through, tries to get it down to Davis. Davis recovers. Garrido and hits pure from three point land. Garrido makes one count. What a way to produce for your team. Come right off the bench, deliver a three. Somebody's got to provide a spark. Reardon to JCJ. JCJ down to Reardon. Back to JCJ. JCJ tries the floater, but Bo Brody Davis is just too tall. Caleb Green floats it in for two. Reardon catches JCJ at the elbow. Back to Jolly. Jolly gets into the lane, out to Hellenbrook. Hellenbrook pump fake over to Neville. Reardon up top. Reardon, JCJ, JCJ for three, yes! JCJ from downtown, Garrido over to Copeland, Copeland pumps back to Garrido, right to Neville. He's not wearing the same color jersey. Reardon in transition for three, no good. Rebound Brody Davis. Garrido ahead over the timeline, attacks the middle of the zone, out to Green. Green pump fakes, Brody Davis. Garrido again, over to Copeland. Nice hands by Reardon, Copeland gets deep, tries to get it to Gillespie. Garrido for three, off the back iron and no good. Rebounded by Jay Gillespie. Copeland for three, yes. Jolly slowing the tempo down. We'll bring it over the timeline to the hash. Griffin Neville controls to JCJ. Over to Hellenbrook. Jay Gillespie will bit, get nabbed for the foul. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're going to be in our under 12 media timeout. Eric, pretty back and forth action so far. Very back and forth. A five point lead for the Panthers. Not very indicative of what's happening on the court. Um, the Lions, I feel like, definitely need to start winning the rebound game. I don't I don't have the stat sheet right in front of me, or at least the updated one. But I could probably gather they're not winning the rebounds, and especially on their side when they need to. I think they've let a couple threes slip by when they're trying to press so heavy into the paint that you let Garrido or you let Green just sleep on the outside, and you can't let that happen. Yeah, and that's the zone is it's working. It's just they're a little susceptible down low in the bottom parts of the zone right now. It'll clean up. Mm -hmm. They always find their rhythm at some point in the ball game. But Birmingham Southern's doing a great job on offense and defense, and they're forcing the mistakes. And Piedmont's getting a little lost down low. Yeah, for sure. Um, Piedmont still shoot, still shooting pretty good. We're about to get a stat sheet right here, and I guarantee you that the offense not the problem here. Just maybe need to be a little bit more consistent with making those long twos if you're going to go for them like that. Yeah, they are losing the rebound war, like you mentioned. Piedmont does have four steals to their name and only two turnovers, and Birmingham Southern with five turnovers on the evening. And that's a big credit to Bate, to excuse me, to Jolly because he's just so good at getting the ball away. And on the floor for the Lions right now, we're going to see Neville, Lesh, Jolly, Wiseman, and JCJ. And Garrido, Gillespie, Davis, Copeland, and a new face in Nolan Dean out there for the Panthers. 
Love this swap up by Coach Neely. Uh, we saw yesterday that Wiseman, while he's still coming off the concussion protocol, he's still being pseudo eased into it. He was such a difference maker yesterday. And looking to provide the same here today. And you also loaded up with shooters like Neville and, and Jolly as well as Lesh. Yeah, and that previous three coming from Copeland. Kick out to Griffin Neville for three off the back iron. Rebounded by JCJ, but it will be a foul on Davis. And it will stay with the Lions with a shorter shot clock in 20 seconds. Wiseman to inbound, Wiseman to JCJ, up to Neville. Neville, two for a dollar, yes! Griffin Neville is pure from distance. Garrido over to Gillespie, to Dean, back to Gillespie, over to Copeland. Copeland dribbles through the defense, floater off the back iron, rebounded by Jolly. Jolly looks up. Gives it over to Wiseman. Wiseman trying to get it into Neville. That's a great look from Wiseman. Yeah. Brody Davis to Gillespie. Gillespie hangs through the air. And Tough count foul. the basket. Yeah. Tough foul. I think that's going to be given to Jolly. It will be. He, he tried his – you could tell he was trying to redirect himself in the air. The referee just called him for it right on the point of contact. It's a tough break, but Gillespie will shoot one of one. And it goes. Neville to inbound. Lions down by eight, 25-17. About nine and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Jolly into the lane with the left hand is good. Gillespie to Garrido. Garrido, Gillespie. Gillespie, turnaround jumper off the front of the rim and no good. Rebound Caleb Lesh. Lesh to Jolly. Jolly has options. Neville thought about it. He'll put the ball on the floor, get it through to Jolly. Jolly with Brody Davis in front of him for three. No good. Rebounded by Garrido. Over to Nolan Dean. JCJ with some great defense on Brody Davis. Gillespie back to Garrido. Garrido tries to get it to Brody Davis, but just too strong. Great press by Wiseman there to force the issue. I did notice that. I like how they're extending the zone. They're, mm -hmm. they're basically at half court when they pick you up, which is very interesting. It's something you don't always see from the Lions. They're making the Panthers pass a lot. They're making the Panthers have to go for these long passes. And they've crowded the paint. So they're forcing them to try to shoot into traffic. Reardon over to Lesh. To Dean. Dean one-on-one. -on -one. Dean tried to get into the lane. I'm surprised. No foul called there as Andrews was in the mix. Reardon providing some good defense. Spence catches. Andrews over to Dean. Dean will miss. Rebound Fisher Darden. Darden pushing the tempo a little bit. Out to Wiseman. Wiseman for three. Yes! Three-point advantage now. Spence catches. Back to Patrick. Over to Copeland. Copeland finding his way into the middle of the zone. And it'll be a foul on the floor. Push call. And we are finally at our under eight media timeout. Birmingham Southern 25. Your Piedmont Lions 22. It's been pretty back and forth action and the Lions are starting to pick up some momentum. Yeah, you're, this is kind of what you signed up for, right? A lot of 
a lot of offense and a lot of shooters for both sides. Uh, Piedmont's still behind, but you saw that they swapped out four shooters. They went for Lesh. They went for Neville. Wiseman just landed a three. They're going for that instant offense to kind of bring them back into this game. That way, I would assume they're going to swap out the five that can play a lot better defense than this group can. That's a great... I like that. I think it's as of right now, you got to limit the amount of opportunities that Birmingham Southern is getting. So it's just a matter of time until Coach Neely finds that unit that can click. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at it, Lions are still playing some impeccable yeah. defense. They have four steals on the evening and only nine rebounds. They're getting out rebounded right now, but I imagine that's going to change. With, with the way this team usually plays and the, the pieces they usually put on the court, yeah, that's definitely going to change. And the Panthers will have the ball on the left side of your screen at home. Dean gets into the lane, tried to get it down to Andrews. Dean gets it back. Looked like he slipped a little bit. Spence has it. Spence to Patrick. Patrick will go up with the left and no good. Rebounded by Andrews. Andrews puts it back up. Rebound, Caleb Lush. Fisher-Darden attacks one-on-one. -on -one, hangs in the air. Tried to get it to go, but no good. Rebounded by Spence. Up to Caleb Green. Caleb Green for three. No good. Rebounded by Noah Reardon. Over to Wiseman. One more to Lesh. You can't leave Lesh open. But it is no good. Rebounded by Andrews. Into the corner for Dean. It looked like it may have gotten tipped, but a shooter friendly roll yeah. off the back iron and in. Reardon brings it across. Wiseman controls. And a little bit of a miss, miscue by Wiseman and Darden. And that one gets into the first row over on the far side. Lash will come out. Joe Hellenbrook steps back in. Patrick, Spence, Green, Gillespie, and Dean all out there for the Panthers. Over to Caleb Green, down to Gillespie. To Patrick, to Green. Green soars through the air, puts it off the rim and no good. Reared him with a ton of space in front of him. Reardon gets to the elbow. Joe Hellenbrook for three. <laughs> Short. Spence right back at you. In and out. And Gillespie stepped out of bounds on that rebound attempt. Everybody and it'll go saw back that to the lines. One. Yeah. <laughs> I think that one was a little bit more obvious than the other one. Yeah. And that I like the I like Hellenbrook in this mix because you saw in that last one he was able to develop stuff by just getting that rebound back and that's what I mean they're, they're gonna win the rebound war especially if Hellenbrook's gonna play to his norms you see the starting five back out there for Coach Neely Jolly up with the left and it just can't roll home Patrick rebound up to Green Green attacking on Darden and he will miss the layup follow up no good rebounded by Gillespie and a hell ball. And what? it'll go back to the Lions. Great defensive effort by what Joe Hellenberg. A great job by Darden as well. He went up one-on-one -on -one with one of the better players on their squad and denied him, put up enough coverage for his reinforcements to come in right behind him so where Hellenberg can come down with that ball. Jolly controls for the Lions now on offense. Reardon attacks baseline, floater short. Rebounded by Gillespie. Birmingham Southern, their tempo is to run. Yep. Gillespie out to Green. Can't leave Green open for three off the back iron. Rebounded by Reardon. Neither team wants to make it right now. Reardon skip pass to Darden. Darden, fancy spin move. Turnaround jumper, no good. Devin Dean in the mix, but it'll come away with Patrick. Green skip pass to Spence. Spence puts the ball on the floor. Hellenbrook with some great defense. Gillespie catches high post. Spence for three, yes. 
31-22 in favor of the Panthers. Ellenbrook over to Darden. Reardon to Dean at the elbow. Over to Jolly. Reardon catches at the top of the key. Turnaround jumper for Dean is off the front of the rim and no good. Patrick spins, gets it down to Gillespie. Gillespie with a ton of coverage. And it How? will be called a foul. Not sure on That's who. That's tough. Things can be on Joe. No, it's going to be on Fisher. Darden, I didn't even think he was in the mix. That is a tough call. That looked, that looked like some pretty clean defense there played by the Lions. Hands up defense. They weren't really trying to strangle for anything. And that's unfortunate that it came down like that. But Lions on defense is not the problem right now. They're no. just missing a lot of stuff at the moment. Yeah, if the Lions could convert on offense and make just a little – a few more of their shot attempts. It'd be a much different ball game, and I'd imagine it's closer. But nonetheless, it's only a nine-point affair. It has been a nine-point affair for some time now, so there's plenty, plenty of time left in this ball game. Absolutely. Just in, just in one of those little lulls. Just happens to be that you had the Panthers had a lead before it, so it looks, it looks worse than it is. Yeah, it's just a little bit of miscommunication at times, but and they're just barely missing, so it's understandable. The eight for twenty-six isn't going to cut it right now. No. And the bench production is also, it's not leagues ahead of Piedmont, but 12 to 9. Uh, it's still mar marginally better production that they're getting from their bench right now. Still plenty of time left in this one as Birmingham Southern will come out of the media timeout. And Gillespie will be at the line to shoot two as they are now, Piedmont is now over the limit. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's, uh, it was a shooting foul, so he will shoot two. And the first one from Gillespie is good. And Gillespie already over 10, already in double digits, now at 11 after that. So he has really been dangerous. Right behind him is Green there. Or I'm sorry, I was reading the wrong column. But he's getting up there. He's now over Caleb Green. He's got eight with him. Lions control on offense with Jolly. Tried to get it over to Neville, but it's taken away. Caleb Green all by himself, and he'll flush. Thirteen point advantage now for the Panthers. Over to Hellenbrook, down to JCJ. Great screen, skip pass, one more to Jolly. Jolly. And Gillespie will be nabbed with a foul. And that will be his second foul of the evening. I think they're going to send, who are they sending up here? Oh, no, shoot. Okay. I thought they were sending someone to the line the way everyone was configuring. Into Helen Brook off the inbound. Jolly controls Patrick in front of him. Jolly fights into the lane, and it's no good. Rebounded by Davis. Patrick out to Spence, but it looks like it's going to be an offensive foul. Mm -hmm. JCJ a little slow to get up. Well, it looks yeah. like he's going to be all right. He hit the ground pretty hard on the whiplash. I don't think he's fine. Thirty-five twenty-two in favor of the Panthers. Garrido steps back in for Patrick. Tons of time for the Lions. Absolutely. Just need to try and close the deficit, and that one gets away. Caleb Green, skip pass to Garrido. Garrido to Spence. Copeland. Mm. 
A little too much from Reardon right there. Yeah, and it'll be one and one for Copeland. Not a whole lot going the Lions' way right now. No, not not really at all. They're they're playing they're playing aggressive defense. It's not slippery. It's not bad. It's just aggressive. Right now, that's just not cutting it with the referees. Um, and just overall, in a little bit of a lull on both ends of the ball. It just happens. Yeah. First attempt from Copeland is good, so he will shoot a second. Copeland second is good. A little bit of a press from the Panthers. JCJ catches high post. Neville takes it to the near side wing over to Reardon. Seems like no one is really on the same page right now for Piedmont. Yeah, and regardless of how the, the these last two minutes shake out, that is definitely going to be a topic in the locker room because a lot of these passes aren't going to anybody. 15-point advantage for the Panthers. Copeland steps into one. No good. And it'll go to Piedmont. Minute 50 and counting for the Lions to try and close the gap. And that might be one of the Lions' problems right now as they're trying to get into the paint and Brody mm -hmm. Davis is just not letting that one happen. Yeah, they're, the, the Lions have noticed that they're not shooting the best right now, so they're trying to force the issue and get it up off the glass. And that's also not working because you got a big dude hanging in the paint. Well, Jolly did a little bit more fundamental finishing right there and trying to get Brody Davis to go up because it looks like he's jumping at everything. Mm -hmm. and, and Jolly will shoot too. If you don't challenge a guy like that, he's going to be jumpy all night. So a good move by Jolly here. Wouldn't mind seeing it from JCJ or just whoever wants to go dance in the paint. Brody Davis now with the second foul, and it looks like he'll make way for Andrews to take his spot. Jolly will shoot his second attempt, as the first was good. Second attempt is good. Lions down by 13. Garrido receives. He'll throw it all the way up to Green. Green to Andrews, and he misses. Rebounded by Jolly. Jolly into the lane. It looks like it got taken away. All right, Jolly is uh, apparently out of bounds having the ball, so he's going to go back to the Panthers. Yeah, he did not touch that ball before he hit the ground. I understand the, the reasoning behind it, but that's just not what happened there. And the Panthers have possession again, up 13 with a minute and 12 left in the first half. Caleb Green catches far side down to Andrews. Andrews back to Green. Garrido has it. Over to Copeland, tries to go baseline. Griffin Neville is there. Over to Caleb Green, tries to weave his way into the paint, but he stepped out of bounds and then will go back to the Lions after a great defensive sequence. Helen Brook has been playing that all night long. He's forced like three step outs from right there, from just having that presence right there. Wiseman's going to come in in his place, though. And I understand what Coach Neely is trying to do now that Brody Davis is out. They believe that Devin Dean might be able to get the best of Andrews down low. That's a good call. Neville attacks. Goes up off, and it just bounces out of the rim. Over to Copeland. Copeland attacks, gets it down to Andrews. Andrews' reverse layup is no good. Rebounded by Devin Dean. 
Devin Dean gets the ball at the floor for the Lions. Off to Jolly. 15 seconds and counting. At the logo, Dean, screen right, step into a three-pointer. It's too strong. Almost rebounded by Devin Dean. But Garrido comes away with it. Caleb Green shoots and no good. Going into the break with a 13-point advantage, the Birmingham Southern Panthers come in here and put up a really good offensive showing to start the first half, 37-24 at the break. Eric, second half keys. What do the Lions need to do differently? Simple, shoot. They're going to have to shoot and they're going to have to make their shots because they it's not for lack of shooting. They're just not able to find the touch right now. They're not able to fully execute. Even Jolly is slow tonight in getting those points off. He's missed a couple. He's claimed a couple. And that's just really what's going to be up because that's what's going to be up to the Lions to make uh, up because they have been playing good defense. It's just a good offense as well. And th they're going to even out eventually because I, I bet you you're, the rebounds are still probably skewing towards Piedmont's way, but it's just really going to have to be offense because they've given themselves so many wide open chances they just can't execute them right now. And something we need to look at is Piedmont's being out rebounded right now. It's 25 yep. to 18 in that category. Ten turnovers at the end of the first half with four steals to go along with it. And I, one thing that I don't think there there's enough of is assisted points as the Lions only have four assists as a whole tonight. It does seem like it's kind of a one-man army uh, idea on the floor right now, which, of course, is not the way the Lions like to play things. But that also has to do with the kind of uh, the negation of Devin Dean as well as JCJ in the paint. They have completely been disrupted by what Brody Davis is, be is bringing to the table at the moment. And Brody Davis brings a lot of size to the floor, so but he is on two fouls, so that's something we'll have to look at going forward. But Jay Gillespie with eight, Samuel Spence with six points, Caleb Green with nine, and I believe Brennan Copeland, also Brandon Copeland, eight. excuse me, with eight on the evening. So, yeah, and Fisher Darden started off the game so well, he started off really well actually, where he was up there with Ryan Jolly, but Jolly has separated himself from the pack of the Lions. And no one else on the Lions has really taken that mantle. No one stepped up behind them to assist them, like you're talking about. Right. There's no one there. And we'll just have to see what the what the conversation is with Coach Neely in the locker room at halftime and see how the Lions come out in the second half. I'd imagine it's going to be a much different team. I think you're absolutely right because I think these mistakes that the Lions are making, it's not that they're being – outdone. It's right. that these are fixable mistakes that all you're going to have to do is maybe have a mental reset, come out, have a couple practice shots before you begin the second half, get your touch back, get your feel back. Yeah, it seems like they're just a little too short right now yeah. on their shot attempts, but nonetheless, that's something that you can change, and I'd imagine the Lions are going to come out with a totally different attitude into the second half of play. Just about 12 minutes left in our intermission, and we're going to step away for the remainder, stand up, stretch, get some water and maybe even get some dinner it's getting a little late here so we'll see you guys back in about 11 minutes and 45 seconds we'll talk to you then
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, inside Cave Arena for the start of the second half. Birmingham Southern leads by 13 coming out of the break. Chad Hall, Eric Edmondson, and Reed Barnes on the camera. It's almost over. One more half, Chad. We have, I would say probably, what, 16, 12 hours, something like that for the past couple days? Well, when I entered from yesterday, it was seven and a half hours, and we've been here just about as long today. So yeah. nice little 15-hour <laughs> weekend for us, which isn't too bad. But no. Gillespie getting the party started early and no good. Rebounded by Fisher Darden. That's somebody that the Lions are going to have to limit. Devin Dean thought about it. Joe Hellenbrook from the corner. No good off the front of the rim. Back to Hellenbrook. Hellenbrook steps through the lane. I can't believe he wasn't fouled. Yeah, no foul there is very strange. He had just about no shot to put it up because it's just the – yeah, no, just <laughs> very surprising. Jolly out to Darden. Finds Jolly at the block. Trying to show off the post moves, and the fade is no good. Rebounded by Gillespie. Up to Spence. Green in the corner. Over to Patrick. Patrick surveys, gets it back to Spence. Patrick into the lane with a floater, and it's good. Jolly controls for the Lions over the timeline. Looks to attack the middle. Looks like Birmingham Southern showing a little bit of a different look. Reardon is fouled on the way up. Yep. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. 15-point advantage for the Panthers. Yeah, the Lions coming out. Definitely going to have to take care of Gillespie as well as Green, because you can't forget about Green. But really, you got to control Gillespie. He has had a one heck of a game. And the second attempt from Reardon is good. He'll go one for two at the line. And taken away by Reardon. Reardon to Jolly, and the runner is good. Fantastic sequence by the Lions. It's 12 now. Lions facing a 12-point deficit. Give it to Green. And it'll stay with the Panthers just in front of their bench. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Patrick receives it in the backcourt. He'll carry it over. Green attacks baseline. Over to Gillespie. Gillespie to the inside of the lane. Spence for three. Yes. 42-27 now. Jolly controls. Over to Darden. Dean attacks. Nifty move and a nifty finish for two. Beautiful. Patrick into the lane, finds Gillespie. Gillespie attacking the zone. Davis over to Spence. Spence thought about it. Puts the ball on the floor. Out to Green. Green for three. No good. Rebounded by Darden. Darden slowing the pace down. Finds Reardon. Reardon attacks to Darden. Darden thought about walking into it. Reardon to Dean. Dean, why not let it fly for two? No good. Kept alive by Helen Brook. Reardon for three. Ten-point advantage now for the Panthers. Spence catches far side wing. Back up to Patrick. Patrick over to Green. Caleb Green is good. Right back at you. Jolly controls. Over the timeline, Dean has it to Jolly. Jolly couldn't handle it cleanly. Rare miss by Ryan Jolly. Hey, 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 
Panthers bringing it back up the court. 13-point advantage for them. Lions looking to cut the deficit. Gillespie attacks. Gillespie weaves his way into the lane, and no good. Brody Davis follow, no good. Darden rebound. Darden attacking ahead into the lane, tries to find someone. Looks like Davis and Dean kind of fell over each other. Spence to end down. Spence receives green. Gillespie attacks. Jump stop into the lane, no good. Grabs his own miss, blocked by Hellenbrook. Hellenbrook yeah. to Jolly. Jolly weaves it through to oh. Dean. Dean has time, decides to slow it down. Dean tried to get it on the baseline, but Davis blocked it. Green in transition for three, no good off the front of the rim. Kept alive by Hellenbrook. Jolly, three on two. Jolly gives it off to Dean. Dean off the glass for two. Down to Davis. Davis off the glass for two. Jolly over the timeline. 13-point deficit. Reardon puts the ball on the floor, tries to gain some contact and finds the bottom of the net. Excellent run by Piedmont. Looks like Piedmont and Coach Neely call a timeout. 30 seconds, it'll extend into the media. Eric, Lions gaining some life. This is exactly what they needed coming out of the locker room. They're shooting better, they're maneuvering in the paint better, and defensively, still got some stuff to work on. They're still, uh, Birmingham, Southern, Southern Birmingham is still weaving through the trees in the paint. Uh, they're still muscling their way through, and it's just gonna be about who is going to be able to control the three-point game, I think? Because Caleb Green has pulled up multiple times from outside, and he hasn't hit every single one of them, but he is pretty accurate. So it's going to be a matter of how much of the three-point game around the arc can you control while keeping a press inside the paint. It's just a tough balance. Sure, but the Lions can make something happen that will shift momentum in their favor. Caleb Green, 5 for 13 from the floor, 2 for 8 from three-point land. Not too shabby. Coming back in the rebound war, 29 to 26, just three on the side of Birmingham Southern now. Lions just need to keep doing what they're doing. It looks like they've found, found the answer. Yeah. Noah Reardon sneaking up on Ryan Jolly. He's got eight points to his name so far. And you see that both Dean and Fisher have also snuck up there as well. Gillespie breaks the press, brings it across. Spence thought about it. Has nowhere to go, finds Brody Davis. Davis misses. Davis goes back up with it, and it is down for two. That's another thing. They've been able to control Gillespie, too. Now they're going to go for more shooters. They got Fisher and Neville on the court at the same time. JCJ even showing to be a shooter as he controls. Gets it back to Reardon. Reardon for three. Yes! Reardon from downtown cuts the deficit to 10. Out to Green. Gillespie up top. Easy now. Wow. Wow. Media. Oh. All right, I guess we're going to do another media timeout. I thought we already extended into the media to begin with. I mean, Coach Neely not happy with that one, and yeah, that's rough. I mean, nah, I'm not too happy with this officiating crew right now either. No. This has been 
quite suspect. Not the greatest look right now as fouls as of now are just about even. It's 10, 10 minute, or excuse me, 10 point deficit for the Lions. And that, that with the run that they've kind of been on, that's not anything anything to note, really. Right. If they keep this, the pedal the metal right here, yeah, you're looking at a really close game and not even getting out of the first uh, 15 minutes. Lions starting to heat up from three-point land, which is exactly what they needed to crawl back into this one. Birmingham Southern with the ball out of the media timeout. Just need a little bit of energy from the Lions to really get this thing going. Yep. Would love for them to go on an uncontested run and blank the Panthers. And Jolly goes up with the right hand and off the glass for two. It's a good way to start that. Lions providing a lot more pressure. Spence will step into it. It's good. And that, that's what's been the kind of momentum stabilizer is that the Panthers have been consistently able to fire back whenever Piedmont does something. And it looks like Brody Davis will be called for another foul. I believe that's his third. I'm about to say, Davis might want to be careful here. He's getting up there. Second, Brooke. I think I heard. Was that, you said second? I think that's what was said. I'm not sure. I'm going to find it. Copeland's going to step in for Brody Davis. That might have been his third. Yeah. It looks like the last time we received stats... And the three-pointer from Reardon is no good. And over to Reardon, no good. Mm. Brody Davis does have three fouls okay. on the evening, so it looks like he's going to sit for a while. Patrick controls, bringing it up to court now. He'll carry it across. Give it over to Spence. Down to Gillespie. And Gillespie's going to go to the line and shoot two. Ellenbrook has played such aggressive defense all night long. And sometimes it pays off for him. Sometimes it forces the other team to the line. Jay Gillespie with eight points on the night. And he misses the first. Good foul. Garrido steps in. And the second is no good. Rebounded by Hellenberg. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what you needed if you're the Lions. Oh, yeah. Facing an 11-point deficit. Jolly weaving into the lane. Noah Reardon wide open for three. No good. Push back out. Rebounded by Jolly. Jolly weaves his way into the lane for two. The Lions needed to win the rebound war, and it's starting to shift that way. Caleb Green thought about it. Mm. There's that push. The push call that haunts. We have seen that so much this weekend. And Wiseman checks in for JCJ. Garrido has to go way back into the backcourt to receive that one. And off to Green, Gillespie high post. Spence guarded closely. Neville with some great defense. Garrido, floater, no good. Rebounded by Hellenbrook. Looks like the Lions shifted to man-to-man -man defense, and so far it's paying off. Neville off the back iron. Excellent job. Green no off and running. Jolly with a great contest, but it's going to fall for two and count, count the basket and the foul. Yeah, I have to agree with you, um, Chad. I'm not happy with this officiating crew. It, I mean, it keeps getting worse. 
It's really bad right now. You gotta call that. That is very blatant. I mean, Caleb Green was holding on to Joe Hellenbrook right there. And I think everybody in the arena saw it. Mm -hmm. What a recovery by Wiseman on that, though, just to give the Lions a chance, though. And Copeland converts. Caleb Green, Caleb Green will go to the bench, and Nolan Dean steps back in. Jolly controls for the Lions. Facing a 12-point deficit. Neville to Wiseman. Wiseman pulls up. Too strong. Rebounded by Copeland. Copeland trying to get into the lane. Garrido gets into the lane. Out to Spence. Garrido has it back down to Davis. Dean trying to weave his way through. Turnaround jumper, no good. Wiseman keeps it alive. That was impressive, showing <laughs> off the balance. Wiseman to Hellenbrook. Hellenbrook wide open for three, no good. Rebounded by the Panthers. Lions just can't find it right now. Mm -mm. Another one of those lulls. Brody Davis controls. Hand off to Dean. Garrido tries to get it out to Dean. Neville in front of him. Neville playing some great defense. And a turnaround jumper from Dean is good. Jolly brings it across. Out to Neville. Neville for three. Short. Rebounded by Garrido. Oh, man. This is unbelievable. This is very, very tough. Man, it looks like we're in our under 12 media timeout. I mean, Chad, you hate to make excuses, but goodness. Yeah, it's it's very, it's kind of evident that it's one-sided right now. Yeah, and it's, when, when you're not awarded these opportunities that are being blocked because of no calls or because of constant fouls, like these are very ticky-tacky, it seems. Yeah, and it's, it's, uh, it's, if I, it'd be different if it was consistent, but... It's not looking too no. good right now. No, it's not. But you can't make too many excuses. The Lions still unable to find the touch uh, just yet. They, they, they came out of the gates and they shot better. They were executing in the paint better. I'm not sure where that went away to. Uh, the, the game plan definitely changed to going more of a shoe heavy. You have Neville, you have Lesh, you have Wiseman and Jolly on the court as well. And... It was working in the first half, I guess, with uh, Davis on the floor for the opposition. That's what you look for to kind of – you don't want to run that against him because it's not going to work. But I don't know. Lions going to have to just shoot a little better. Yeah, and you know, we're going to have to see what happens. Uh, Birmingham Southern has been to the line. I believe this will be in the 12th time, and the Lions have only been to the line three times. So – it's, uh, it's pretty evident yeah. what's going on. Rebound war is not much different. First attempt from Garrido is good. <clears throat> Garrido's second attempt is good. Friendly roll. Patrick will step in. Jolly carries it across. Over to Lash. Lash off the catch and shoot is good. Thirteen point deficit for the Lions. Dean drives. 
Bounce pass to Gillespie. It's going to be a travel on Gillespie. I mean, he's been doing that all night. You got two people calling different things. And Jolly brings it across. Hand off to Lesh. Wiseman catches. Helen Brook thought about it. To Wiseman. Wiseman goes up and no good. Fifty nine forty six. Hellenbrook has really been in the middle of every single rebound war. It, <laughs> he, he was just on the court when he inbounded the ball. All right. Anyways, he just traveled again there too. Gillespie. Very odd. Up to Gillespie. Copeland weaves his way into the lane. Gillespie catches out to Dean. Dean puts the ball on the floor. Floater, no good. No way. He was trying to rebound the ball. How is that a foul? That is ridiculous. All right. Anyways, Dean will go to the line. And the first is good. Sixty, forty-six, fourteen 14-point advantage. Four. The Panthers. His second attempt is no good. Rebounded by Helen Brook. Call out a foul, too. Surprised it wasn't at this point. Jolly brings it across. Fights through the screen. Doing that all night. Darden will step back in for Wiseman. And it's going to be a foul on the floor, but the Lions will retain possession. Hellenbrook in the corner. Reardon receives it. Reardon gets into the lane for a floater, gets his own miss, and puts it back in for two. 60-48. Dean in transition for three. No good. Rebounded by Darden. Hand off to Darden. Reardon thought about it. Waves his way into the lane on Gillespie. And the tip back in. And it looks like it's going to be on Gillespie. A little round of applause for the referee. Finally made a good call. <laughs> Give him his flowers for that one. That's funny. I think that's three on Gillespie. Mm. And Re Reardon's first is good. A couple substitutions now. Gillespie steps off. Dean steps off. Green and Spence back in for the Panthers. Reardon's second attempt is good. 10-point deficit for the Lions. 8.47 left in the second half. Patrick controls. Reardon's excited. Caleb Green down to Davis. Double team comes quick. Close out defense. Spence wide open. No good. Rebounded by Darden. This is an opportunity for the Lions mm -hmm. to start building a run. Darden out to Hellenbrook. Reardon catches, weaves around the screen, back to Darden. Darden catch and shoot three. Oh, unlucky, in and out. Patrick has it for the Panthers. Over to Copeland. Copeland weaves his way through. And it looks like an offensive foul. 
one, Brody Davis. Brody Davis. I'm surprised he has not fouled out of the contest Yeah, it's yet. about time. <laughs> he has goes. three personals already. Uh-huh. Jolly weaves his way through. Over to Hellenbrook. Hellenbrook step up three. No good. Rebounded by Darden. Down to Hellenbrook again. Hellenbrook off the glass for two. Eight-point deficit for the Lions. Patrick weaves his way through and loses it. Reardon attacking one-on-one. -on -one. Jolly floats through the air. No good. Rebound put back in by Hellenbrook. Hey! That was the most blatant shove I've ever seen. Little extracurriculars here from Brody Davis. And it looks like we're going to be in our under eight media timeout. Waiting to see what the official call is. There's no way you can let that continue. Still waiting to see what the signal from the official is. And it looks like they're having a lengthy conversation about mm -hmm. it. Either way, this is going to give the Lions some fire to work with. I think so, too. And it's, it's just a matter of time until we see what's really going on down on the floor. By the looks of it, Eric, it seems like they're going to nab Brody Davis with two straight fouls off that play, and that means that should foul him out. Yep. he has fouled out of the contest. And after the conversation, it looks like we're finally getting into our media timeout. And Birmingham Southern's head coach, Chris Graves, is not too happy about it. That's the correct call. I'm not sure what the issue is here. That is the correct call. I'm all for going to bat for your players, but you cannot do that. You're not wrong. You just can't do that. Right. And surprisingly enough, the fact that it isn't a technical foul is a little alarming. But nonetheless, it seems like we're going to get... How has he not been teched yet? Yeah, they're, they, they're giving him a He's long read leaf the face. right now. Boy, they. Oh, my goodness. Wow, a lot of extracurriculars here, and it seems like we have no answer from the officiating crew. And there's the first warning after... All right, there's the second warning. Looks like we're about to be playing again. Yeah, if this place wasn't awake before, which they were, but now they're wide open. Yeah, here we go. This should make for an entertaining seven and a half minutes left in the contest. And if you're the Lions here, you cannot squander this fire. You got nope. the entire arena, like, against your backs. They, they are pushing you along. They're going to cheer for everything. They're going to boo for everything that's not your way, no matter how it looks. You've got to use this momentum. And there it is. Finally. There we go. Yep. So what we've been waiting on. Still going at it. Not sure who he's talking to over here.
A lot of extracurriculars here, Eric. And <laughs> if we thought this weekend couldn't get more exciting, it seems like it is now. Yeah. There's. We knew this was going to be an intense matchup, and honestly, the intensity of that variety came out of nowhere. I'm not sure who he's talking to over here. I'm talking to. I'm not 100% sure. Group of ghosts over there. Uh, he must be seeing something I'm not. Ugh. I'm wondering what's going on. I got an ear off up here. Yeah. And the, we're just trying to find out what's really going on up here. Our crew down on the table, lengthy conversations with the Yeah, it officiator. seems like we're working hard to really get a solution to this. Yeah. It seems like we're going to get technical free throws after this, and Ryan mm -hmm. Jolly will take the two technical free throws, and then Joe Hellenbrook will step to the line and take some more. That would put it at 56 to 60. That's four points. That's an easy deficit. Yeah, it seems like. And Jolly's first attempt is good. And the second is good. Ryan Jolly, perfect from the line tonight. Six for six. And Joe Hellenbrook will get his two attempts right here. And it looks like our uh, game day <laughs> officer, Officer yep. Dick Martin, will be posted up right behind Birmingham Southern's coach, which is a great sign to see. A lot of extracurriculars, Eric. Helen Brooks' first free throw is no good. That's all right. It's all right. Momentum's starting to swing, Joe. Just wait. Got this, Joe. And Joe steps up for his second attempt. And that one is good. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are back underway after a lengthy timeout. I wonder what else will happen. Over to Gillespie. Patrick catches at the top of the key. Over to Copeland. Copeland weaves his way. Jolly picks him up at the top of the zone. Copeland over to Green. Green for three, yes. Jolly operating the Lions offense. Bounce pass to Reardon. Hellenbrook catches at the elbow. Tries to find an option to Reardon. Reardon thought about it. Caleb Lesh wide open and no good. And it looks like Piedmont is over the limit, and yep. Joe Hellenbrook now has four, four fouls. Gillespie to shoot. His first is good. And the first of the one and one is good, so he will shoot another. Gillespie second is good. 66-55, 11 point advantage. Lions gotta stop the bleeding here. Uh, excuse me, 65-55, 10 point advantage for the Panthers. Jolly to Hellenbrook, Hellenbrook to Darden, holds on to it. Reardon puts the ball on the floor, hands off to Jolly. To Reardon. Darden, pull up, no good. Rebounded by Patrick. Travel on the opposite end of the floor. Caleb Lesh will come out of the ball game for Devin Dean. And Reardon will inbound on the near side. Jolly controls for the Lions. Dean into the lane, that's a foul. And Dean will go and shoot two.
And Dean's first is no good. 65-55, 10 point advantage for the Panthers. Dean's second attempt is good. Patrick carries across, finds Gillespie. Gillespie weaves his way into the lane. Out to Caleb Green. Into the lane for two is Patrick. Jolly controls for the Lions. Jolly to Darden. Copeland in front of him. Dean catches low post. Reardon thought about it. Pull up jumper, no good. Rebounded by Green. Green one on one. On what planet? I guess they're just going to argue that he wasn't set, but it looked like he was. I didn't see a shift or anything. Caleb Green at the line for the Panthers. His first attempt is good. And the second attempt from Green is good. Dean's going to come in for Green. And Garrido will step back in for Patrick. Jolly receives the inbound pass. Lions facing a 13-point deficit. Five minutes to go, though. Jolly weaving his way into the lane. It's kept alive by Spence. Garrido controls. Finds Gillespie. Gillespie jump stop. Dean in the corner for three. No good. Rebounded by Darden. Darden dictating tempo. Crossover. Off the glass for two. Man, just about made Gillespie fall. Mm-hmm. Garrido carries it over, tries to get free, and he loses it. Dean to Spence, back to Garrido. Copeland, near side wing, works on the baseline, tries to find his way into the middle. Garrido, Gillespie for three, no good. Rebounded by Darden. Up to Jolly, numbers the other way for the Lions. Jolly attacking in transition off the glass for two. Garrido slows it down, gets it over to Spence. Spence will shoot it. He's not afraid to. Copeland in the corner. In the opposite corner with Dean. Closeout is there. Rebounded by Gillespie. Up and no good. Over to Dean. Dean off the glass for two. Jolly carries, three-point attempt is good! Timeout by Coach Neely. It'll be a 30-second and extend into the media. Eight-point deficit now for the Lions. After all the extracurriculars, Lions just need to really amp it up here in the last yeah. three minutes and 20 seconds. It's completely doable. You've seen Ryan Jolly really ball out right here. He has really taken this fire, put it right inside of him, and just is completely controlling the offense. Shout out is Fisher Darden, too. He's also being a great handler right around the arc. But, yeah, just as a whole, Piedmont is definitely going to be looking to just go offensively, go berserk, getting back out on the floor. And they definitely have the perfect opportunity, too, and we're going to find out 
what Piedmont's really made of in these last three minutes and 20 seconds. Coming off a big weekend in Illinois, going undefeated, and now coming back home for their second game of the homestand. And we'll have to see what happens next. For sure. Jolly leads all Piedmont scores with 22. Noah Reardon with 15. Fisher Darden with an impressive 13 rebounds to match Joe Hellenbrook in that department. Yep. And, and Fisher's going to be really important here because Hellenbrook, he can't play as harshly as he has before, albeit some of those fouls a little questionable. Um, but he cannot play as as aggressive as, aggressive as he's used to. So right. Fisher is going to be have to be very important here come down the stretch as Hellenbrook's going to have to be more hands-off. This is going to be a big moment for the Lions. Gillespie receives it in stride on the Cave Arena logo. Almost lost it. Copeland attacks baseline. Fisher Darden in front of him. Copeland being method methodical, excuse me. Down low to Gillespie, double team comes. Devin Dean there on the defense. And a great finish by Caleb Green down low over Hellenbrook. Jolly attacks. Nice pass by Jolly down to Darden. Darden just couldn't put it in. Copeland attacking on Dean, no good. Rebounded by Jolly. Lions dictating tempo. Jolly into the lane is no good, but he will be fouled and he'll go and shoot two. Ten-point advantage still for the Panthers. Everything is going to count here. You got to make every shot count. Jolly to shoot two from the line. His first was good. <laughs> Bailey Wiseman comes in for Fisher Darden. Fisher Darden's had a pretty, pretty good game. Good game. Wiseman's been sitting on that front seat, that first seat on the bench, shaking his head through all of this. He is very hungry to get into this. We know he's such a spark plug for the Lions with how he's played for the last day and a half. I'm excited to see what he's going to do with his team against the wall. And the Panthers bring it across the timeline, find Copeland in the corner. Copeland attacks. Back out to Patrick. And a nice, nice snag down low. Caleb Green tries to get free. It's still loose. Caleb Green comes away with it somehow. Two seconds, one. The heave is no good. Gillespie comes away with it. No good. Rebounded by Hellenbrook. And there will be a foul. Joe Hellenbrook will go shoot two, I believe. Hellenbrook is going to have a nice trip to the ice bath after this game. He has been through it the entire set of minutes. He has, and he's been excellent for the Lions on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. Exactly correct, Chad. This game isn't where it is right now without Joe Hellenbrook playing the way he has. Not bad of a deficit. Joe Hellenbrook at the line. Lions in the double bonus now. Hellenbrook's first is good. Hellenbrook's second is also good. That up, boy, Joe. All right. Six-point deficit for the Lions. Gillespie brings it across, gets it over to Copeland. Copeland thought about it. He'll lose it. Jolly comes away with it. Jolly and Reardon on the break. Reardon thought about it. Over to Wiseman. Wiseman wide open. Why not? Yes! Yes! 73-70, Lions back within three. This place is going to erupt. Gillespie controls. Copeland wants to slow it down. Jolly with some great hands. And Coach needs to burn a 30-second timeout on the near side. 
Listen to Cave Arena. Bailey Wiseman. You said it. Difference maker. He needed to come off the bench and provide a spark, and that's exactly what he did. Lions with plenty of time left in the ball game. One minute, 14 seconds, facing a three-point deficit. My goodness gracious, this has been some day. When we uh, when we had that first little uh, extracurricular, as you call them, it was seven minutes. Pretty sure 15 have passed, and it's taken about three years off my life. <laughs> it has, has been a stressful past couple minutes, and I can't imagine what they're feeling on the court, but this shows that these Lions are performing under so much pressure right now. Sure. And what happens when you put something under pressure enough, you put a, a fine mineral under pressure enough, you get a diamond. There you go. I like that. I like that analogy. That's a great start to what we could see from the Lions coming out of this timeout. 14 seconds on the shot clock for the Birmingham Southern Panthers. Patrick receives in the backcourt. Defense pressing. Copeland being methodical. Gillespie. Patrick attacks out to Green. Shot clock violation. Yes. And the Lions will get the ball back with a chance to tie. Get it to Bailey. Ride the hot hand. Wiseman wearing number 10 for the Lions, if you're unaware at home. Jolly carries across. Fake handoff. Dean provides a slip. Jolly to Dean. Lions running offense as usual. Dean, jump stop into the lane, no good. Comes away with his own rebound, off the glass! Oh. That's too, that's too late. That's Man. way too late. That, you're exactly right. That call was made five seconds after. The ball was through the net when he made that call. That's way too late. Gillespie to shoot two from the line. Gillespie shooting his first. Gillespie not good under pressure. They give him another warning? That's what it seems like. It, he's already been issued a tech, hasn't he? He has. Oh, boy. Looks like they're going to get a timeout for the for Spent. Not sure. That's time. Come on. All right, Lions, 35.6 seconds on the shot clock. Gillespie to shoot one more. Gillespie to shoot his second. And it's no good. Rebounded by Hellenbrook. Lions, five seconds. Five second differential between shot clock and game clock. Jolly trying to find it. Jolly. And a timeout by Coach Neely with 18 seconds on the shot clock. You feel that watching at home? That's yeah. what sports are for. This is why we watch, this is why we play the games. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, I believe. Wow. Great timeout. Yeah. Fantastic timeout. It needed it, but just, just before the timeout, it looked like Devin Dean got free mm. for, a, for an open layup underneath yeah. the basket. But it's nonetheless great timeout by Coach Neely, recognizing the situation. And plenty of time. 
Plenty of time for the Lions to make something happen. Five seconds. Differential between shot clock and game clock. 23 seconds left in the contest, 18 seconds in the possession for the Lions. Lots of time. 18 seconds is an eternity in basketball. Yeah. Three-point difference. This is this is all Piedmont. They have the golden opportunity here. Noah reared in to inbound it for the Lions. Out to Jolly. Jolly controls. Trying to find Wiseman. Wiseman from way downtown. Yes! Yes! Bailey Wiseman! You kidding me? That's my radio partner! Wiseman to tie the ball game. 15 seconds left. <laughs> wow. That'll get the blood flowing. Yes, sir. Birmingham Southern still with a lot of time on the clock. Oh, boy. To inbound is Gillespie. Patrick to bring the ball up in what could be the final possession of the ball game. Caleb Green, Skip, Copeland, and they will award the foul. It was an offensive foul. Offensive foul against Birmingham Southern. Noah reared into inbound. 3.6 seconds on the clock. Jolly won. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to overtime. Bailey Wiseman tying the ball game up at 73 apiece. What a comeback effort by the Lions. But the job's not finished, as you all know. And it is go time here in Cave Arena. We're going to step away. We need a break up here. <laughs> We're going to step away for a brief moment, and we'll be right back with you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, inside Cave Arena. Overtime period number one. Wow, if you're watching at home, I wish you could be here. Oh, my goodness. This is outstanding. This is exactly what you wish for in a college basketball game. And what's remaining of the crowd here is very, very amped up and excited to play this first overtime period. Five minute overtime period here in Cave Arena. If there is not a winner decided after the first five minutes, guess what? We play another. And after that? I, I think we play another, yeah. We play another. <laughs> it's a never ending process until we decide a winner. Gillespie wins the opening tip of no overtime number one. Lions. 
Gillespie down underneath, and a late foul call on Ryan Jolly. Gillespie will go to the line and shoot two. Gillespie shooting one, and it rolls in. And the second attempt from Gillespie is in the balance. It's good. Reared and inbounds to Jolly. Four minutes and 48 seconds and counting. Jolly has it. Finds Wiseman. Wiseman off the glass for two. Copeland has it. Double comes. He'll lose it. Down low to Gillespie. Great defense. Great defense by Joe Hellenbrook underneath the basket. Finds Hellenbrook in the middle and no good. But it will stay with the Lions on the offensive possession. 75-75. 4.17 left in the first overtime period. Reared into inbound. Gets it to Dean. Dean goes one-on-one -on -one with Gillespie. And they're going to get Gillespie on a foul. It's kind of surprising. Okay. <laughs> I believe we'll that it. is Gillespie's. That's a that's an interesting blocking call. I think so, too. If we're calling it both ways. Yeah, it's been a little unorthodox, but that's all right. Devin Dean's first attempt is no good. Dean to shoot a second attempt, and that one is good. 76-75 in favor of the Lions. Caleb Green catches near side. Weaving into the lane, no good. Rebounded by Hellenbrook. That was Patrick on the attempt. Jolly weaves his way into the lane off the window for two. Ryan Jolly with a great finish. Caleb Green, no good. It's out. Rebounded by Hellenbrook. Jolly to Reardon. Reardon receives on the far side wing. Jolly jump stop. Dean hangs for the air for two. Green in stride. Green weaving his way on the baseline. Up to Gillespie. Gillespie steps in. And a blocking foul on Devin Dean. Mm. And Jay Gillespie will go to the line. <sighs> Jay Gillespie to shoot two more at the line. Last speed to shoot two. Get loud, Cave Arena. And his first attempt is good. 80 76 in favor of the Lions. Jay Gillespie to shoot another. Jay Gillespie's second is good. 80 77. Three-point advantage for the Lions. Lions bring the ball up on offense with Ryan Jolly. Jolly directing traffic. Finds Reardon. Reardon down to Dean. What a pass. What a pass. What a pass. Great finish by Devin Dean. Devin Dean being the catalyst in the overtime period so far. Over with Copeland in the corner. Pass off to Dean. And out of bounds. Noah Reardon in, in the mix, forcing the turnover. 
Reared into inbound, two minutes, 50 seconds and counting. Jolly takes his time, listening to Coach Neely, directing traffic. Jolly, tons of time. Takes a screen from Dean. Bailey Wiseman, Noah Reardon, wide open in the corner. No good. Rebounded by Copeland. Copeland bringing it up in transition. 82-77, Copeland weaves his way through the lane. And one. Nifty finish by Copeland. Joe Hellenbrook's night is over Ooh. as that is his fifth foul. What an effort from Joe Hellenbrook. Really? He did exactly what he needed to do. That is, there is a guaranteed round of applause. Fisher Darden will step back in, though. And he's That's a pretty good trade-off. Exactly. Yep. Right where Hellenbrook left off. Last time we checked in with them on the stats, they were tied in rebounds. This is exactly what you like. You, of course, you lose the size advantage, but Fisher Darden is good in his own right. He sure is, and Fisher Darden has been excellent for the Lions this season. Copeland's first and only is good. 80 280 in favor of the Lions. Birmingham Southern showing a little bit of a press. Has reared into his left. Jolly does. Jolly receives up top. A little bit of a 2-3 zone look. But that's not the best idea when you have Bailey Wiseman out there. And the bank is open on Sunday. We're witnessing the Bailey Wiseman game. Caleb Green right back at you. Yes. Caleb Green has been outstanding, and he lived up to the hype that we yeah. were expecting between him and Ryan Jolly this evening. Jolly being methodical, taking his time, bringing the ball up the court. Devin Dean showing off the slip a little bit. Made you hold your breath a little bit. A little bit of hand checking going on. Bailey Wiseman goes to his left. Step back three. Is up and no good. Rebound, Fisher Darden, and back in for two. Fisher Darden showing off the offensive rebounding. Caleb Green thought about it. Caleb Green weaves his way in and up and no good and out of bounds in favor of the Lions. 87-83, one minute, 11 seconds. One's across the board. And here comes the press. Caleb Lesh subs in for Devin Dean. A little bit of an undersized lineup for Coach Neely. But we've seen it work wonders. What a job by Dean, too. Over to Jolly. Jolly to Wiseman to Lesh. Lesh carries it across. Two on one now. Lesh, great idea slowing the speed down. Wiseman doing the same. Jolly controls. Jolly with Patrick in front of him. Over to Wiseman. Lesh down to Jolly. Jolly pull up jumper is off the front of the rim and no good. 87-83. Gillespie to shoot two more from the line. It's been the story of Jay Gillespie shooting free throws tonight. He's done an excellent job of finding his way at the free throw line. His first is no good. 38 seconds remain in overtime period number one. 30 seconds on the shot clock. One shot for Jay Gillespie. Jay Gillespie to shoot one. Gillespie's second is no good. Jolly has it. Jolly trying to find his way out. Darden has it, up to Reardon, Reardon by himself. Rocker step and the layup, but he was fouled before the attempt. Reardon's gonna go to the line and shoot two. I thought Reardon was gonna do it to him for a second. It looked like it. Yeah. Reardon to shoot two from the line. Reardon's first is good. 88-83 with 26.1 remaining. And a timeout by Birmingham Southern. Oh, and man. 
a 30 second timeout. Wow. Yeah. We can take a breath. We can rekindle a little bit before mm -hmm. we continue. Man, what a job by Fisher. To, to, he was struggling with that ball. He had some competition with him, but he was able to get his off right hand to palm the ball, bring it back towards possession. Just a wonderful job. Attention to detail has been large for the yes. Lions in mounting this comeback and being able to come back and now have the lead in overtime. Absolutely correct. We, we went into the second half kind of saying that they're going to need to clean up some stuff, not anything to necessarily worry about, and they have. They have cleaned it up, and not right away. They cleaned it up when it mattered. Lions really took that halftime speech to heart and all the timeout speeches in between, and they've done an excellent job as Noah Reardon is shooting his second, and it is good. 89-83 in favor of the Lions. Caleb Lush steps out. Devin Dean back in to help with the rebounding war. And off. Three-pointer is no good. Rebounded by Fisher Darden. Fisher Darden. Over to Jolly. Jolly all the way yes. up to Wiseman. Yes. Wiseman. Hey! Yeah. To cap it off, Bailey Wiseman. Spence dribbles into it. Pull up three. No good. Rebounded by Devin Dean. And that'll do it. What a game. The Bailey Wiseman game. My goodness. What a way to end the weekend. What a time for your Piedmont Lions 91-83 final here from Cave Arena and my goodness gracious that's exactly what we needed to cap off an excellent weekend of basketball and <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we do have some time before our next contest oh no we will be back in action against Millsaps College on December 1st that's a uh, Five days from now in yeah. time. But, hey, Eric, that's an excellent way to finish off the weekend. And the Lions yep. did everything they needed to do to get themselves right back into this ballgame. You can go back and re for ages, and you'll still get goosebumps. Oh, man. What a job. What a team effort. Ryan Jolly putting the team on his back the second half, getting them to where they are. Bailey Wiseman coming in and delivering blow after blow after blow to completely shatter any hopes that the Panthers had tonight. And Bailey Wiseman stepped up in a big way, his second game back from concussion protocol, and he had an excellent game tonight. And, I mean, what more could you ask for from Bailey Wiseman as the Lions mount the comeback off of a 49-point second half in an 18-point overtime period to steal this one away from the Birmingham Southern Panthers. And the Lions move to 5-1. On the season, and it's their first 5-1 and one start since, I believe, 2019-2020 season, which was which feels like an eternity ago, but nonetheless, the Lions did an excellent job in getting this one done tonight. This is a special Lions team led by Coach Neely. They have so many good pieces. Ryan Jolly's back to his old self. you just seen Bailey Wiseman, who's not a starter. He came off the bench. He produced. Helen Brook, what a night. Devin Dean, what a night. This team is something different that Cave Arena hasn't seen from them in a hot minute. Yeah, and the, the students coming back in from Thanksgiving break really provided a spark as well with fueling the team to an unexpected victory. I don't mean unexpected in a bad way, but they were down at times they by were down. more than 16 points, and they came back and really made a difference and fueling the comeback. And absolutely an outstanding game to finish off an incredible weekend of basketball. Absolutely incredible, Chad. Just what is there left to say? Then go Lions. This is yeah, incredible. Right, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. For myself, Chad Hall, Eric Edmondson, and Reed Barnes on the camera, Danielle Percival and all of her staff, and everybody who helped out on this final weekend of Thanksgiving break. We thank you for tuning in to this long, long weekend of basketball, and we can't wait to do it again on December 1st with men's basketball being in action against Millsaps College at 3 p.m. We'll see you then.